Hello, what I'm going to try to do today is uh, show you a little bit about uh, plate boundaries, which I just did a video uh, using a uh, site from uh, uh, Prentice Hall. Uh, it was a shockwave expressing the three types of plate boundaries. This is another uh, uh, shockwave from Prentice Hall, I think. Um, but basically, this is a static view of it, um, actually showing you no motion. But as you can see in there, we actually do have uh, the plates drawn. Um, we have uh, things like, not sure what happened there. Um, we have things like uh, the North American plate, which is this boundary right here. We have the South American plate. Um, we actually do have the Juan de Fuca plate, which I talked a little bit about making this uh, volcanic arc up here, which has the volcanoes for Western North America. Um, we have the Cocos plate. We have the uh, Nazca plate. Um, we have the Antarctic plate. We have the Pacific plate, um, which goes over here and then down and over and then through. Uh, we have the Indo-Australian plate. We have the Euro-Asian plate. Um, we have, uh, that's pretty much it. But if you take a look at it, um, if I can actually borrow a little bit of red, um, this little zigzag image you see here, this is the mid-ocean ridge that goes all the way around. And places like right here, um, actually here's a better example, where this plate is being sort of pushed this way and this plate is sort of being pushed this way this is where we get the transform fault so every place you see in between this little zigzag and why is it zigzag? Uh, if you guys have ever broken an egg um, trying to get an egg to break in a nice smooth line like that it's impossible um, spheres like to break this way and this is actually where the earth is broken in a 46,000 mile long mid-ocean ridge um, these are the MORs uh, mid-ocean ridges uh, and the, you see that spreading um, this is the divergent force divergent places where you see like uh, these teeth all along the western coast of South America Mexico um, the one that actually used to be here um, North America is now over the top and why we actually have so many problems with the western part of the United States See one up here in the Mediterranean Sea. See one above uh, India. Um, you can see some others here, especially in the Pacific Ocean. Um, but basically, this is where two plates, um, this plate sort of going this way, this plate sort of going this way. It's where this plate is actually being pushed under. And if you see this round shape like that, um, it's where the plate's being pushed under. This oceanic plate um, is being pushed under South America. Um, this is being pushed under Central America. This is being pushed under Europe and Asia. Um, you can actually see some other plates moving in really weird directions. But we have divergence um, in these areas right here. These are areas of convergence. And these things right here are called deep sea trenches, or what I like to call deep ocean trenches. So we have the convergence we have transform and divergence here. Um, those are the three forces, divergent, trans, uh, con convergent, and transform. If I was to show you, and I don't know if I can enlarge this um, screen while we're doing this, but if I was going to show you this image, um, can I enlarge this? Looks like I can maybe not. Well, this is pretty much the same thing, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this animation. This is Pangaea 200 million years ago. Um, you can see North America, you can see South America, you can see uh, Africa, Europe and Asia, India, uh, the Arabian Peninsula, here is India, this right here is that piece of land that's off the coast of Africa, uh, Madagascar, here's Antarctica, here's Australia, um, here are some of what's going to make islands in the Indian Ocean. Um, the Gulf of Mexico um, wasn't. Um, the Atlantic Ocean wasn't. Um, I can push this play, but I want to actually control this. So Pangaea in the Tethys Sea starts breaking up. There is the birth, the divergence, um, where we actually have a divergent boundary 
pushing North America one way and Africa the other way. That's the birth of the Atlantic Ocean. Not really an ocean yet because it's actually not um, touching any of the salt water, but it probably is salt water. Um, it would be called an inland sea at that point. It continues to get bigger and bigger. And then finally South America breaks away from North America. We get two supercontinents. Pangaea breaks up into Laurasia and one of my favorite names, Gondwana Land, um, which may, was the big southern continent, Laurasia the big northern continent, basically Greenland, North America, Europe and Asia, and every all the other land masses we had down here. And this is 150 million years, so it took 50 million years for that to happen. And then we started breaking. Okay, stop doing that. We had South America and Africa break, so the Southern Atlantic Ocean started to form. Um, you can see India and Australia start to break apart. India slams into Asia. Australia moves over 50 million years ago. And then it keeps moving, keeps moving. We get some close down of oceans there. India now is slamming into Asia. Um, we have these connected. Florida's there. The Gulf of Mexico is there. Looks very much like the world today. In fact, if I go a little bit more, here is present day planet. Um, you can still see the shape of North America and South America if you look over here at Africa. Um, you can still see some of, the, um, some of those forces. There's Sri Lanka, which is now there. The nice thing about this one is we can actually go into the future as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to push play. And there's Laurasia Gondwana. Breakup of the continents. Moving into present day. And then 50 million years into the future. Um, you can see this is uh, Baja, California, and the Western California. Uh, San Diego, Los Angeles, San Francisco. And if I move it back to present day, Baja, California. And then here's California. California is not going to sink into the ocean. California is going to keep doing what it's been doing and move off and north as the San Andreas Fault moves off in that direction and just keeps moving and moving. And eventually we'll run into Alaska. Um, you can see Alaska is still moving to the north. You can see where they are today. So North America continues to move this direction. South America continues. Africa sort of this way, closing off the Mediterranean Sea. Australia has moved. India has moved and has actually shrunk as it's grinded itself into Asia. Okay, thank you much.